What's up, collectors and all Transformers and CCS today? I want to finally be taking a look at Transformers Netflix War for Savage Run Will Jack. Taking a really quick look at the packaging, we can see an action so much straight logo on the side, War for Savage Run Will Jack, and a nice display of the figure itself. On the side of the packaging, we can see a nice image of him as well as the Autobot logo and the Netflix logo on the very top. On the back, we can see images on robot mode as well as vehicle mode and the 18 steps. And on the side, you know, we got that image that every single, you know, uh, Air Rise packaging has. So you can see same old, same old. And on the top, not much is the Autobot logo and the Transformers. But this is pretty much it for the packaging. So with all that being said, and with all further ado, let's get into it. And here we have Will Jack in hand and out of the packaging. And as you can see, he has gone through a lot. He looks super damaged. You know, he looks like he has been through some battles here and there and you know kill some Decepticons on the way as you can see this is pretty much the only differences that he has to the normal you know original air rights wool jack and this weapon is not his this is I don't hide I just put it there you know just to show that he has been through a lot you know it, it really you cannot put a battle damage character and not give him a gun because this is technically not a gun you know this is the thing that he looks you know he uses on the lab and stuff so I don't consider that a weapon, but as you can see, he looks really good. Honestly, uh, the, the damage looks, you know, uh, it makes him look managing, you know, and just intimidating. Honestly, he really looks like, you know, he's about to, you know, kick your ass, especially if you put it next to the original. As you can see, this one just looks so nice, but this one just looks like he's about to kick your ass, honestly. As you can see. Uh, the differences again, you know, the, the big ones are the battle damage, but as you can see on the hand, he has also some, uh, you know, minor detail here and there on the paint job, but pretty much this is the exact same figure, no differences whatsoever. So I'm going to be going through, you know, some of the differences and, you know, I, I think I'm still, you know, thinking if I should transform him or not. I, I haven't, you know, done a review on him, so I, I'm, I think I'm gonna transform it. But, you know, starting with the head sculpt, as you can see, the face plate is a little bit more darker. All around, this figure is a little bit more darker. That's why he looks so intimidating. But as you can see, the weapon or the, you know, the tool that he uses on the lab uh, is a little bit more darker and it has some differences here and there. Let me take it out so you guys can appreciate more on detail, you know, if I put it in front of the camera. There you go. As you can see, the only difference is pretty much, you know, the dark and dark color. As you can see, the darker one is, uh, believe it or not, the normal one and the lighter one is the one of the Netflix character so you can see the only big difference is that you know the normal one didn't you know they didn't paint it fully gray and as you can see the new one is fully fully painted uh gray I don't, actually I don't think it it's painted this I think it's just gray plastic yeah I think it's just gray plastic but as you can see this one was painted you know a little bit more darker but they didn't fully paint it for some you know for whatever reason but this is pretty much it for the uh, weapons if you want to call this weapons I honestly don't think this is a weapon this is just a tool for the you know the lab and stuff but coming here to the figure itself as you can see again you know the face blade it's a little bit more darker so you can see the black is pretty much the same you no know, uh, light or darker tone on the you know the the black as you can see on the front this is a little bit more you know just uh, in your face but this is a, a normal red and as you can see, some battle damage there. I don't know if that's damage or just paint drip, but I'm just going to take it like battle damage. Uh, on the arms, as you can see here, it has some damage, and this one does not. And on the hands, as you can see, this are the, you know, the panels that he has on, uh, you know, the opposite section of the hands. As you can see, this one has colors of the vehicle mode and this one is just not just you know not it just just white but you know just beat it white on the vehicle mode we're gonna you know see more of that uh you know come in hand but as you can see on the legs as well they're just you know a little bit more damage here and there and just a little bit more darker of a white and you know uh, uh green and stuff just just a little bit more darker so you can see on the really 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 you know uh bottom of the feet you can see that this one has black and this one is just all around white you know dark white so you can see on the sides you know you can see that uh green and this one is just all around you know white and as well as the rims you can see that this one is darker and this one you know is orange so you know I, I really thought that this was just gonna be the same figure and it is don't get me wrong but you know what i mean is that i thought that they were only gonna add some damage to this figure 
and that's pretty much it and i think they took a really brand new you know mold no painting no whatever and they try to you know mimic what they had without looking and that's why you know you see that some parts are just not painted like i don't know why this is not you know green or this is not black i really don't understand that but again we're gonna you know see that on the vehicle mode so uh you know for the articulation again i didn't do a review on wheel jack so i'm just gonna be going through the whole review like this you know was a, a really brand new figure so for you guys that know the articulation and you have a normal uh you know wheel jack you can just go through the other side you know you can jump ahead and go to the vehicle mode so you guys can see the differences but as you can see he can do a, a full 300 well no not 360 degrees he can do just you know a 180 due to the backpack that you know prevents it he can go extending that far and this far to the front he has a swivel here as you can see you know swivel and you know a hinge so he can do a three you know a, a 30 degree angle here and a 360 degrees here if you want to i don't know why you should have done that but as you can see on the hands you can do a 360 degrees 360 degrees as well and the head minor up and down motion down you know just a little bit more than up and you know it can move side to side obviously uh waist articulation full uh 360 degrees the splits he can do it perfectly as you can see so that's a plus for me and you know uh just he can bend that far you know uh 30 degree angle there due to the hinge and it can extend that far and it can extend this far and obviously it has you know ankle articulation so that's really nice but this is pretty much it for the articulation comparing him to other you know autobots i only have optimus prime out of the shelf so i'm just gonna you know show you how he scales next to his leader as you can see looking real nice again just you know same same all with the you know the old figure they both look really nice next to him this looks uh particularly out of place because if this is battle damage then where was you know his leader so i think that Optimus should be you know even more battle damage or at least the same damage that this guy you know took but as you can see, they, you know, they both look nice next to Optimus Prime. But for the transformation, what you want to do is to first come here to the feet and fold those down like so. You want to come here, you want to extend those, and that's going to allow you, you know, some room so you guys can... Oh, wait. Come on, man. Don't embarrass me. Met review. Come on. What you want to do is to take this piece that just uh, embarrassed me uh, and fold it down like so. And then you, that's going to allow you to fully, you know... Uh, hide the head as you can see and then you want to come here and put this here man why are you on pegging so much what's wrong with you so you want to pull this section 180 degrees to the other side and be careful because i don't know why this thing is popping so much you know with the normal one it was not like that so here you go it popped again so again i don't know if this is on my particular copy but it's really annoying the living you know what out at me and oh my god it's this is annoying so come here and rotate this section and it's it just keeps on pegging uh come on can you let me just rotate you please thank you so now that it's you know fully rotated to the other side i don't know if this is going to be a pain for you i am hoping not but you want to come here and pull this section like so you want to uh, you know take out the mini windows on the top do the same on the other side take that out and you know pop the windows out just like that and what you want to do is to peg it you know down the other window the the one is you know being such a pain as you can see and it's being a pain because it's disconnected but i don't care honestly i just want to transform you so just peg yourself in there just like that you know just switch up force because it honestly it's just it's being such a pain but now that you got this annoying section out of the way, you want to come here, right? And you, there's two pegs there. What you want to do is to pull the upper section of the arms and peg it there. That's going to be, you know, serving as the back of the vehicle mode. And then the upper section, you want to rotate the hands like so. And then you want to peg it on the, you know, on this sides. And you want to do the same on the other side. Rotate the hand, come here and peg it in like so on the opposite side 
and uh, last but not least, you want to take this spoiler and fully, you know, complete it, fully assemble it, like so. And this is pretty much it for the transformation. And oh my god, I didn't thought that this was going to be so annoying. But there you have it. This is Willjack fully transformed, finally, into his vehicle mode. Before we go in detail with the vehicle mode, I just want you to, you know, to know that with the normal one, with the original one, that problem didn't happen. As you can see, this is the annoying section. As you can see, I'm flopping it up and down. As you can see, it's not being disconnected. As you can see, I can fully rotate it 180, you know, degree angle without no travel. I can rotate it again and I can go 360 degrees and this guy will not pop. So you can see up and down and it doesn't pop. So now that we got the mechanics out of the way and you know that the original one is not a pain to transform and you know that this one for some reason for whatever reason on my particular copy is a complete pain this window thing. It just keeps popping off as you can see as said now it's pop out. I don't I just I don't know I, I I don't want I don't want to fix it all right I'm just gonna go through the review but I just want to let you guys know so for the details you can see you can already know the differences you can see on the front you can see some black the rims are not you know orange as uh, the normal one and on the sides he does not have that you know that sponsors and stuff and the numbers and on the spoiler as well you know it has nothing and honestly i'm just gonna say it i prefer this one the original one this one looks cool don't get me wrong i'm a fan of the black rims you know i'm a black rims type of guy but honestly the original looks way much better so you can see on each side it just looks so good to see you know the racing things and you know the sponsors the numbers and the orange you know it kind of you know I kind of over time you know begin to love them but don't get me wrong this black you know uh, paint on the rims looks really nice but as you can see on the spoiler it, it this one is more beaten up but I don't know I don't know why they didn't you know add those normal things again this figure take this figure this exact same figure and just put the damage colors in and that's it that there you have it that's the Netflix version but I don't know why they they honestly, you know, they brought a uh, black version and started painting him, you know, from scratch. And that's why you can see, you know, that some colors are done right. As you can see on the front, you can see some, you know, green and red done, you know, the same as the original one. But when you, you know, put it and you really go and dig into it, you can see that the black is not there. The rims are not the same. The sides are not the same. The spoiler you know it doesn't have that you know uh, letters chinese letter there or the name and on the back you can see that this one is gray and this one is you know a normal white with some black and i honestly prefer this one because it, it really gives you know uh you know it looks like it has a quadruple exhaust and i kind of love it honestly you know these two are the normal ones and these two are just pegs but I kind of, you know, love the look of it. And when you see it, you know, just all around, just full on gray. It, I don't know, man. It's just, and this is the only part of the vehicle mode that has gray. The rest is just the normal white, uh, green, and red. So I honestly don't know. They just, I think they just sheep out on the bag and they were like, uh, whatever. Just, just, you know, leave it, you know, the normal gray. I, I believe that this is not even painted. This is the, you know, the normal plastic. And they just, you know, leave it, you know, like that, just complete blank. They were like, nah, don't, don't even paint it. Just, just ship the character and, you know, get it over with. But I don't know, man. I, I prefer the robot mode. It really looks good. It looks different. I love it. I, I dig it, honestly. But as you can see, this white is not even the same as the other one. As you can see for a close-up look, so you guys can appreciate more of the detail. As you can see, this one is watched out. And this one is, you know, just, just a normal white with the damage there. And I don't know, as you can see on the front as well, this is not the same white as this one. And the spoiler is beat it up uh, white as the rest. As you can see, this is the same white as this and this. And, you know, do so, it's not the same as the rest normal white. So you can see, you can see that the rest of the white is the same as the original one, as you can see. And this one is the new one but i don't know why they didn't just do this on the whole figure and not just on some particular parts like this one and this one and you know on the spoiler as well i really don't get it and i think on the front of the vehicle mode they did it as well but you can see on the sides that it's different as well as you know the back and you know on the white body and stuff 
you can see on the you know the black window the back window excuse me it has you know that normal white as well i just i don't know man they were just lazy with this and again this is just a re-release a repaint of the same figure so they normally ship out on those so this is to be expected but i just want you guys to know that i don't know man i don't think it's worth it if you had this then this is not worth it i'm probably gonna you know put it on the box and sell it because this is not gonna stay in my collection but with that being said that's pretty much it for the detailing for the comparison let me bring again uh optimus prime here so you guys can see how he scales you pretty much know how he scales by now but you know i just want to you know how he looks with the you know the new look will jack has but as you can see you know pretty much the same you can see with the other wheel jack here pretty much the same honestly again i love the black rims i'm a fan but just the rest of the vehicle mode is just i don't know man i don't dig it but as you can see it looks really good in scale when he has the trailer but when you put it into a boyer class uh you know that is without the trailer it just looks silly like all the deluxes they just they look silly man <laughs> they look so dumb but as you can see this is the scale honestly on uh, you know with all the trailer optimus prime looks like uh you know like a deluxe class but with the trailer on it really looks good and with all that being said i'm gonna end the video here guys sorry that i didn't transform him back to robot mode it's just this piece was so annoying that it's just it just threw me off honestly again i'm not gonna keep this guy in my collection and as you can see if i do the same upper motion that i did with this guy it's gonna pop out as you can see and if for whatever reason i decide to transform him and i kind of come here and rotate it as you can see it pops out because it just it doesn't want to stay i don't know why it you know it's like that but that is not fun at all whatsoever and if i try to you know just play with it it's just i don't know it just keeps popping out and it's not it's not for me honestly it just it ruins the figure for me the transformation it becomes boring and painful and that's that's it for me so i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is pretty much it if you did please leave a like it really helps with the youtube algorithm and it helps my videos get out there in the wild so if you got anything any value out of my content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video Pshaw.